Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Karen and this is Neurodiverse Family Adventures. Today I am going to talk to you about something really, really, really important and this is something to do with why I've chosen to take my trip. guys I'm going to talk to you guys about something really really important and this is uh, to do with why I'm going on my trip and something that a lot of us don't talk about it's a bit of a taboo thing and I think it's something that really just needs to be out in the open and this is part of planning really planning your journey because at the end of the day we have to question why are we doing what we're doing and why are we bogged down in disappointment and sadness with the life that we're having now. So we tend to uh, change things in our life because something's just not quite right. So for me, and just by the way, before I carry on, I'm really sorry that if this moves around a lot because I have accidentally busted my tripod and I'm using the gimbal. So I will try my best not to jittery around everywhere but I can't help it so I'm in the lookout for a new one. Any ideas and tips down there for any specific brand that's good and tr hopefully not plastic. The plastic stuff's not good. So anyway getting off the subject. So guys if you don't already know me I am a mum of four kids. My three eldest children are already grown up and gone and you know I still obviously am there for them at any time that they need it but they you know they're trudging along quite nicely and they know where I am if they need me. Um, I still have Toby at home and he is 13 and he is uh, under the autism spectrum and also I have been also recently diagnosed with ADHD. So I've got a little bit of an idea about sort of um, neurological and sort of mental health. I've been struggling along with mental health issues. So this is what this is all about, your mental health. Your mental health people is so, so important. It's so valuable. I don't think we put enough emphasis on how valuable it is. You know, I don't want this to be like a, a vlog on like self-help stuff. There's plenty of that sort of stuff around. I'm not a uh, like you know a professional in this department all I know is uh, what it's been like for me so the reason why I, I decided to go down this journey and each and every one of you people out there have all decided for whatever reasons why you want to go on a either a lap around Australia sell everything and change your whole life with the kids or with yourself or whatever so I'm doing this by myself with my son going solo so that in itself you know has a whole lot of issues and it could be a logistical nightmare so as I have said to you guys I want to take you right from the beginning where I've started and how I get to where I'm going. So this is planning stage, you know, like I've got nothing ready. I haven't got a van, I haven't got a towing vehicle. I don't even really know how to tow and reverse. So you're gonna come along with me as I go through a towing course, etc. All of this stuff that you don't think about. Also, when you've got kids, you've also got to think about their safety and security. Like I didn't really, think too much about it and Toby has come up to me about a few things and things that I didn't even really think about and for the most part obviously you know you're scared like it's a big huge deal like it's a big change in your life you're changing everything that you know um, some people might be leaving jobs something that you've had security with for many 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 years and all of a sudden that security isn't going to be there anymore. What are you going to do? How are you going to get money? You know, we can't all rely on the government, can we? Like, I don't really particularly like the idea of going around and getting handouts. I've worked my whole life and that I've got a high work ethic and, and I'm going to pay my way. So for me, I'm really, really lucky being a registered nurse. I can actually work anywhere. So 
yeah, so that's uh, that's something that you just have to you have to try and work out all the different components of what you and what and why you are doing what you're doing. And some people just go, I just feel like I've always just felt wrong in your own skin. Like I felt wrong in my own skin. And so I've been working and trudging along, doing what everyone else is doing, getting the house, white picket fence, big screen TV and everything like that. And I'm miserable, like to be honest, I am not happy. So when I started looking down the traveling road, I sort of come across a family on YouTube called The Feel Good Family. And if you haven't subscribed to them, please do. They're a really lovely family. Um, but what I found is all of a sudden, I felt like this was kind of like my calling. And see, for me, I'm not all about making money. Look, YouTube can make you money. That's okay if that's the kind of person you are. I am doing YouTube to document my journey, not for any other reason, if I actually make any money off of YouTube, my heart tells me to give it away because I want to help as many people as I can with their mental health and to be happy and to be, just be in the place where you're supposed to be in. Like we just, we're all so broken and we're all stressed and everything like that. And if it's something that Corona's taught me, it's taught me that life's too short. Like I'm in my fifties now. And a lot of people will work and work and work until they get into their 60s and then they go traveling. I'm not waiting. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna wait until I'm too old and my body's broken before I get out there and start seeing this beautiful world because my mental health isn't gonna take it much longer. So if any of you people know out there, uh, at the moment, the healthcare system is really, really broken. And I'm working in a broken system and I have this thing, which is like an emotional burnout. So it's more, what do I call it? Like moral injury, it's called. Have a look at it. If you can find it somewhere, you may be feeling like the same. Moral injury is just when your idea or your morals don't reach the expectations you have in your workplace. And your workplace does not match that. So after a while your feelings of inadequacy and your feelings like you're just not getting anywhere and disappointment just gets higher and higher and higher till you're mentally exhausted. I am mentally exhausted in my workplace. That's not to say I don't love nursing. I actually really love nursing. I just don't like this type of nursing. This type of nursing is, is ruining my soul. So I have to change something. And that's the thing that I've learned about mental illness or mental health is we can stay in mental illness and mental you know and and not deal with our mental health or we can do something about it it's not always easy and i don't want people to ever think that just snap out of it is the answer to mental illness or mental health because this really serious it's it's the most serious thing I've ever had to deal with. And guys, I'm going through menopause. Sorry, guys, if there's men watching this, menopause, it's real for us women in our 50s. And, you know, it's turned me into sort of this person that's not who I am. And, you know, I'm getting major anxiety. So but having major anxiety is not like just being worried about something. This is really debilitating. It's really serious and it actually can kill you. So if any one of you people know that someone's, someone that you love is dealing with anxiety, please, 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 please just guide them, love them, help them as much as you can. I know sometimes it's frustrating with mental illness because no one, everyone's so exhausted that no one's got time to deal with it and it, and it is just really, really tough. But anxiety or panic disorder or whatever you want to call it, whatever umbrella, is horrendous. And I've had a few panic attacks in my time, like in my life. I've had a bit of a traumatic, you know, adulthood, should I say, uh, with ex-partners and stuff. So I sure as heck know what worry and anxiety is. But this is beyond generalised anxiety. This is like debilitating, unable to get up. It's not depression, it's completely different. Unable to get up because you're scared or you're worried, your heart's racing, you actually feel like you're gonna die, like you're going, oh, 
I'm having a heart attack. I've got cancer. Oh, my pancreas. Oh, what's wrong with me? And your heart's racing, your brain's out of control. You can't bring it in and it's just the worst, worst, worst feeling. So if any of you people out there are dealing with this, my heart just goes out to you because it is really, really awful. So menopause brings on all these funny little things that happen to your body. Plus, plus the it's coupled with what I've been going through at work as well. And it's just come to a point where I do understand why people say midlife crisis because this is exactly what it is. It's a midlife crisis, people. This is actually a real thing. I actually thought it was just false. Like, I really thought that midlife crisis was just a bit of a joke. And it actually isn't. It's actually a real thing. And I am going through the throes of it. And so I just wanted to talk to you people out there that your mental health is everything. It's so important. It means everything. You've got to take care of it. You've got to take care of yourself. So if this is something that you're thinking of doing, like packing up and um, you're going out, remember that your mental health has to come into this, that there's so much logistics involved what you've got to do, that if you don't look after your mental health, you're going to burn out doing this as well. And I'm going to tell you that exactly what happened to me. I started selling a lot of stuff sort of, uh, you know, sort of mid to late last year. And I was like in this gazelle moment, you know, I was just, get it out, get it out, get it out, sell, 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 you can have that, you can have this. And then all of a sudden it just kind of hit me and I was exhausted and I just had to quit doing it for a while. So I'm back to starting to sell again, but I'm doing it slowly and I am going to show you guys very soon the the pitfalls of selling on Marketplace. Oh my gosh, it is like, I had no idea there were people like this around and it's really opening my eyes to crazy people. They're out there. I'm kind of one of them, but that's okay. It, it, there's crazy people out there. So this is the beginning. It's going, what's wrong, Karen? Look after yourself. Look after this this brain, look after your mental health, look after your soul and look after each other. And while you're doing it, cut yourself some slack, you know, because most of us are going to have to work as well as planning and it doesn't have to all be done in two months. Some of you might be able to do that and that's fantastic. For me, it's just me as a sole parent, it's a whole different logistics. You don't have a second income coming in, so you're having to do it all yourself. So I am going to go through some financial stuff and what I've been doing and how I've been uh, financing this trip and, you know, all that sort of stuff. You've got to like, if you own a house, you're trying to prep that, whether you're selling it or whether you're just going to rent it out and that kind of thing. So lots of things to talk about and lots of things to, to think about over the next like few months for me and hopefully it can help some of you as well and you guys are going to come along with me as I buy my car buy my van you know keep selling all this stuff I am going to, like I said I'm going to do a parody on that because holy moly selling your stuff's not the easiest thing and mental health I want to keep talking to you people about mental health so anybody who is coming from say a not so good background they might have had some trauma in their childhood or trauma in their adulthood and you know they've decided to to do this but are really scared well I'm scared too people you know what I'm terrified about doing this this is something I've never ever thought about doing before and this is something that I almost feel is kind of selfish in one way so come along with me look after that mental health look after your mental health figure out why you're actually doing this and what you're actually expecting out of it and I think for the most part if you've actually thought about it it's probably the best thing for your soul because we live in a very broken sad world and you can see the cracks are appearing we can't keep going on like this it's not what our human mind and body is supposed to do so guys thanks for watching I hope you all have a wonderful blessed day and I hope to see you in the next uh, next video see you later